Hi, and welcome back to We Ride Motos. I'm Glenn. And I'm Carrie. In this episode, we pack up, leave our friends Guy and Gail. They're heading north. We're headed south to Montserrat. So we say goodbye to Guy and Gail, and off we go. It was a pretty mellow ride, nothing too spectacular happened on the way to Montserrat. Until we got across the river and started heading up the mountain, and it was a really fun ride up that mountain. It was, lots of twists and turns. Yeah, we had a bit of confusion at the corner at the top. We went one way and we should have went the oh, other way. And we right. had to turn around and come back. And, yeah. But we got through the gate. And then found out that there's no parking up at the accommodations and it's a security guard. So we asked him and because we had accommodations in the resort, I guess. Uh, it's a monastery, actually. So, yeah, we had booked an apartment in this complex that they yeah. had there. So the security guard let us through only long enough to unload our stuff. And then I had to bring Pepe back out and shoved him in one of the five motorcycle parking spots. Yeah. And into the, into the monastery we go. There's buses, there's a cable car coming up from the town below. Yeah. So there was a it's lot. It's a very of, busy place. Yeah, I think there's even a train that comes up the hill. So the first night we're there, we just did the short hike, goes out to the little monument that's out on the point. Yeah, I think there was a monument out there that we went to see. A little walk around in the evening check things out yeah it was it was again nice once all the day tours had gone it was nice area to check out
So in the morning when we got up, it was still really misty and foggy, so we decided to do a little hike out to Santa Cova. And it was really beautiful, just the way the mists were coming up. It was quite a beautiful Yeah, beautiful we hike. could hear we could hear animals rummaging around in the in the trees around us and you know the interesting thing is we're so used to so much wildlife here in British Columbia that you know we're always on the lookout for it, but really very rare to see anything yeah. in Europe. But yeah. all of a sudden, out of the bushes jumps these we think are ibex. Yeah. But uh, unfortunately, you know, no camera. Yeah, I am always have my camera ready. I had it in my hand and I went to get a picture of it and it was facing backwards toward me, so I, I missed the picture of it. Yeah. Yeah, big, long, sweeping horns. Oh, it was absolutely beautiful. I'll see if I can find a picture. Beautiful for the 1.1 seconds we got yeah. to see it, then they were gone. Yeah, we, we heard them, we could hear them down below. It's a uh, very goat-like animal, so they love that steep terrain around that area. It started to warm up as we made our way back to the monastery. We looked around the monastery complex a bit. We saw this bridge and decided to see where the path would take us. The path led us further and further up the hill. And the hills beckoned us onward. We hadn't planned on a long hike, with me in just my sandals and only a half-empty bottle of Orange Crush. We passed by an old homestead on the side of the mountain. These mountain rocks were incredible. I believe they're called breccia and they look like cement. This is undoubtedly a really unique area, and I'm really glad that we decided to continue on.
we just spent the last hour or two hiking up Mount Surat. We came on this path and then we discovered it comes out right where the funicular is. We could have rode it up. Well, whatever. We saved six bucks, I guess. This is a picture of the funicular. I don't think Glenn was real keen on that ride. Apparently it's the steepest one in the world. Whichever way you decide to get to the top, it has an amazing view, and it opens up the whole other side of the mountain. Since we were up there, we headed off to check it out. This tiny chapel is one of the hermitages that are on Mount Zerat. We ventured further up the hill to see some of the remains of some very old hermitages. Some of them were in caves, some of them had some walls left. There's a little big groove there and a groove all the way up there and it comes into here and goes right into this little cistern. Oh, cool. See? Oh, See? Yeah. See the oh and there's a the water in it. Oh, it's so clear. You can hardly tell there's water, it's so clear. But you can see all the grooves that they cut the channel it. We joined back on the main path that head back to the funicular. We decided just to hike back down instead of taking the funicular. From here, we gaze back up at the top of the mountain. What had started with the intention of a short stroll across that bridge ended up being a 16 kilometer hike up the mountain and, according to my Fitbit, the equivalent of 190 floors of stairs. We really loved exploring Montserrat. It has quite the human history. And it was a real privilege to be able to soak in all its natural beauty.
next episode, we are heading down out of the mountains to the coast, and we're going to the seaside town of Peniscola. <laughs>